we are going to look at pressure units for gases. This list of units all relate to the standard pressure on the surface at sea level under good weather. That's one atmosphere of pressure. That's also equal to 760 millimeters of mercury, 760 torr, 101,325 pascals, 101.325 kilopascals, 1.01325 bar, and 14.7 psi. We need to know these so we can convert between these pressure units. So I will demonstrate converting between the pressure units using a problem from the worksheet. So if we have 325 millimeters of mercury, how many pascals will that be? So we're going to need to multiply this by a unit ratio. The ratio is going to be what we're looking for, the pascals, or what we're starting off with, the millimeters of mercury. So we have a 101325 pascals over 760 millimeters of mercury. We run this through our calculator and we'll get 43, 330 pascals. And as we can see, we set it up so our millimeters of mercury cancel off, leaving us with our pascals for the answer. We're going to use this to do our next calculation. So 43, 330 pascals. And let's turn this into atmospheres. So one atmosphere is 101,325 pascals. We run this through our calculator and we end up with a 0 0.428 atmospheres. So we'll convert this now into PSI and one atmosphere is 14.7 psi. We run this through our calculator and we end up with a 6.29 psi. For last one we'll do our psi converting it into bar so 14.7 psi is 1.01325 bar. We run this through our calculator and we end up with a 0 0.433 bar. We see that the bar and the pascals, um, bar, pascals, and kilopascals all have the same sequence of numbers. The bar is 100,000 pascals. And of course, kilopascals is a thousand pascals.